BHP to destroy at least 40 aboriginal sites, up to 15,000 years old, to expand Pilbara mine. This is so messed up. Even more messed up than the corporation is the federal government not doing anything about it, though. Trial balloon succeeded. This is what happens when we don't push back. 15,000 YRS old. WTF, Australia. 15,000 years of history just so they can mine one of the most common metals on earth from a deposit that, by all estimates, will be gone is less than 50 years, folks. HTTPS colon slash slash en Wikipedia org slash wiki slash Pilbara hashtag iron underscore or a few decades of gains for eons of losses. We need a list of their products or companies that purchase their supplies so that we can pretend how upset we are and buy them anyways. This needs to stop, and it needs to stop now. These sites are not only culturally important, they are an extremely long look into the history of mankind. Destroying these sites is destroying history. Australia has a long history of giving less than zero fucks about the indigenous population. Their country is done burning and now they go back to the status quo. When your government won't stop corruption, civil disobedience is all that remains. Monkey wrench gang that shit. There shouldn't be a working machine anywhere near that mine. When I heard a lot of tourists in Melbourne complaining about the lack of culture in Australia I couldn't quite understand what they meant. It is obvious that Australia destroys culture instead of creating it. Now we're left with a kin of piss, a snag and a footy that has lost its past glory. Under Section 18 of the Western Australian Aboriginal Heritage Act, the traditional owners, in this case the Banjima people, are unable to lodge objections or to prevent their sacred sites from being damaged. Sounds like they should have called it the Fuck You Act. Well let's hope the Blue Sky Mining Company comes to their rescue. I lived across the road from about 100 acres of national park growing up in Australia, I spent much of my youth running around exploring untouched bushland, kangaroo were common, even spotted the occasional emu and it was all adjacent to the ocean, it was awesome. Then when I was about 14 the government decided it wasn't national park anymore, they swapped it with some government land nearby and opened a limestone quarry and sewage treatment plant. We protested, got thousands of signatures, made no difference. The large trucks came, the wildlife left and the fences went up. I know it doesn't compare to priceless ancient art and sites significant to a whole culture, it just reminded me how angry I was that they could change what was supposed to be protected for future generations. Imagine destroying Stonehenge to mine. And yet tearing down a slavery celebrating statue is a crime against history. FFS, but it's good for your super fund, mate, yeah wouldn't want to be short of a few when you retire, right? Good on ya. Yeah. Waiting for the very smart finance and resources shills to give us the actuality here. Fuck BHP. Cultural destruction notwithstanding, you can only dig it up once and yet they won't even pay proper royalties, fuck our useless government for backing down too. Not that I think we should dig it up anyway. Makes me sad. Imagine if the Chauvet Caves had been treated this way. Lucky they weren't full of iron ore as well as priceless paintings. Werner Herzog's documentary, http colon slash slash www. IMDB, com slash title slash tt16648946 slash, is worth a look if anyone's interested. Sorry for getting off topic. We acknowledge the traditional owners of country throughout Australia and recognize their continuing connection to land, waters and culture. We pay our respects to their elders past, present and emerging. I suppose this is all PR bullshit to the AUS government. Something to shout during ceremonies and events to put on the respectful colonialist type of mask. Sorry, I don't understand. They were paid and even signed legislation say that this was okay and that they wouldn't object, and even offered to remove or 3D image the area. Were they maybe pressured into signing or something? Sorry it's just the further I read down the article the less I understood what the problem was. Aren't these the locations where BHP legitimately bought the sites from various aboriginal groups? Again. Apologies will follow. 
and yet BHP sold all of its oil shale assets in the U.S. because their shareholders were pressuring them about the evils of fracking. Go figure, man 2020 is just full of the bullshit isn't it? When are we going to have enough of these people acting like they own our planet? It is time to stop this nonsense. So this is the consequence of having international corporations in control your conservative government for nigh on 20 years? I guess Mabo is just some funny word to all of our politicians that happily were bribed to continue to fuck indigenous Australians over. How are these types of things still happening in 2020? Every time I hear about another site being destroyed because of war, religion, and greed it breaks my heart. Aboriginal sites are some of the oldest on this planet, we still have a ton to learn from them. We have truly barely scratched the surface when it comes to understanding our past. My favorite site is Gobi Kletip in Turkey. Estimated to be around 12,000 year old. This is an entire complex of megalithic structures. It has more than 200 pillars in about 20 circles that we've found so far. Each pillar has a height of up to 6 meters 20 feet and weighs up to 10 tons. The coolest parts? Ancient people purposely buried the entire complex. It's so fascinating to think about why they would bury such a beautiful, giant site. Some of the pillars not only have depictions of pre-slash-ice age flora and fauna, but also depictions of animals only seen on the opposite end of the planet. Some pillars tell of ancient disasters like the Great Flood. Other pillars show uncanny resemblances to the Easter Island Moa, and similar designs found in Central-slash-South America. This is why we must stop the senseless destruction of our past. We still have so much to learn. Yeah. Fuck world heritage, we need more smog. It's odd how in all these articles we never see any pictures of what they're trying to destroy-slash-protect. 99% of the people in these comments didn't read the article and it shows. Is it possible for people to sue private companies for destroying what could be deemed world heritage? I. E. That history doesn't just belong to the indigenous people of Australia, although they should have the governance of it because it is theirs, or to Australia. It belongs to the world. It is our history as the human race. The anthropologist in me is furious. The land that these mines operate on is Banjima land and they signed a 100-year contract with BHP which will give the Banjima people, about 500-1000 people, hundreds of millions of dollars over the life of the mines. The traditional owners consented to mining companies to allow them to mine this land and they are being compensated very 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 well for it. Has anyone else noticed while we are all busy trying to not catch COVID or get brutalized many previously untouchable sites are being thrown open to industry? It's like they need to strip everything bare in a hurry. 40 sites for one already existing mine? Are they right next to each other? What do they have on them that makes them sites? The way this year's going, destroying the sites will wake sleeping alien overlords who will crush our way of life into the dust. So BS, these sites should be protected, BHP are the biggest assholes. They apologize for destroying the last site and yet they are going to destroy more. Well since Rio is doing it. But guys. The economy. Also, isn't Scomo super religious? He wouldn't believe the caves could be that old. Also, the money BHP pays him would definitely make him just not give a fuck anyway. God damn it it. It's like watching an addict sell off their kids. Everything. When the last mine closes and the last coral dies, we won't want to remember how much money big business made. We'll want to remember who we were as a species. Freaking wrong.